Street Photography Secrets. One minute, one photo, one tip. Hello everyone and welcome to another Street Photography Secrets Hints and Tips with me, Sab Will, your uh, resident friendly Paris street photographer. Uh, this is a statue. I don't think uh, you needed me to tell you that, but uh, I can tell you where it is. It's down here in this bit of green. This bit of green is actually a, a beautiful classic Paris garden. Um, called the Tuileries and uh, Google Maps has uh, decided to to conk out on me so that's where I say buy Google Maps and uh, <laughs> I don't think it went into the Tuileries anyway and uh, it's a statue which I'm very fond of because if you look more closely the guy looks like he's desperately smelling his uh, armpit uh, and it always reminds me of that fi uh, film uh, A Fish Called Wanda uh, where the I think it's Kevin Klein sniffs his underarm uh, to give him strength before going into battle or whatever it is. So there you go. It's, he's not, I suppose. He looks as though he's sort of cowering in anger from a, a snake that's trying to bite him. But uh, anyway, that's that's my armpit sniffing statue, which I will tell anyone who wants to walk the the Tuileries Gardens with me about. There's quite a few funny ones in there. Anyway, here are my attempts. There's one. Well, hey, you can see that I went uh, with an effect which is pretty pretty crazy. Uh, note that the whole point of this, for me, the armpit sniffing, he's pretty dark there. His face is pretty dark, and yet this side of the statue is completely blown out. So let's try another attempt. Okay, I think it's getting there, and this, this effect where it's pretty much monochrome. There's only the brown, shades of this uh, brownie colour. Um, still completely blown out there. That's a little bit lighter. This one is losing colour rapidly and it's still blown out there. So I'm looking for some, some more of a balance. This particular application, uh, you press a button and it gives you a new option, so you can't really choose. Um, this was one that I tried in another application. Again, you can see, well, there's plenty of detail there now. Very good. But it's a bit dark here. Anyway, I like it, but in the end I went with this one. Well, I mean, I went with both of them, but this is the one I'm going to publish. You've got his face here which has got plenty of detail in it and this isn't quite as blown out as it could have been and I like the sort of tutti frutti colour here. Um, what my tip's going to be is uh, go high key or try high key. High key is when there's not really much darkness at all. Uh, in fact in this one there's ended up being a little bit but the point is you've got a statue, you've got a sky and the temptation or the camera will try and bring it back down to, to mid ranges but if you keep it up there in the highs so there's very little darkness at all it can give a very pleasing effect which uh, is better illustrated in something like this or uh, or this one here okay so it's not an ideal photo for it but uh, try high key in other words try and have everything very very light without much darkness at all and uh, see what you think you can do the same with low key having everything dark with hardly any any bright parts at all that's it see you next time bye bye Of your smile.